Is he all right, son? He's good. Just fine. We repaired his belly and shoulder wound. He lost a lot of blood, but he's rallying. Thank you. Maybe I should take a look at that. No, it's nothing, Mom. No. Oh, well, I'll be the doctor. Come on, let's go to the trauma room. You okay, soldier? Yes, sir. That couldn't be better. All right, you guys sticking around here? Absolutely. I want to see my mate. I'm fine, man. Did that doctor send you? Because I told him I was fine. Want to tell me what happened? Do I have to? I mean, is that an order? Yes, ma'am. Sometimes talking about it helps. What happened out there? It's all right, Jenkins. It's a routine door to door. When all of a sudden a sniper started shooting, Jenkins froze, didn't you, sir? I'd like his version, please. I'm just trying to help, ma'am. It's like you said, I froze. They had to pull me out. Can I go now? Carry on. Sergeant Gleed. Please, sir, a word, if I may. Private? What happened? I heard sniper shots. I felt one of them whizzing by me, like a crack by my head. I didn't know where they were coming from. I saw people running everywhere. I know Sergeant Cleet says I shouldn't blame myself. But everything is just so crazy. I saw somebody running at me, and I said, I thought, you fired. Son, you should know the bullet went wide. Your sergeant was concerned you might be blaming yourself. So we checked that bullet that killed Barford. It came from an AK-47. You're not lying, sir. Private, I'm a colonel in Canadian armed forces. I don't lie about these things. You were lied. I, I didn't shoot it. It was an AK-47 bullet, sergeant, not one of ours. That's right. You didn't shoot Barford. You didn't shoot your good friend. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Attention! Now, you take it easy. You, know, you just lost a good friend. All right? 